Welcome to my shop. My name is Guy and today I'd like to talk to you about the new Festool Domino DF500 connectors. For a long time I've been looking for a good, easy to use, knock down or ready to assemble connector. I've tried the cam lock with pins, cross style connectors and a few others. They've really always been too weak and too finicky and troublesome to install with any real confidence. Now after using the Festool solution, I really like the ease of installation and the accuracy that they provide. Let me show you the kit I have and the joints that they can produce. Now this is the complete kit from Festool that contains everything you need to make the connections that we're going to use on this project. It includes a drilling jig and all the pieces parts to make four different types of joints. The first is a 90 degree butt joint and the second is a butt joint and a butt joint where you've got two pieces on either side of the vertical. Now this uses the domino holes on both sides of the joint. You can also make both these joints using the domino in conjunction with the LR32 system which drills five millimeter holes in this vertical piece and then a domino hole here. Now the first joint I'm going to make is a simple butt joint and this is corner A of my piece. I've made a line across here and I'm using an 8 millimeter domino and I need to go 28 millimeters deep here and 15 millimeters here. Now for the top and bottom I'm going to be referencing off the stops of the domino itself to make those holes. This mark right here is for a 36 millimeter domino that's going to go in here and again I'm going to go 15 and 28. Now I've got an 8 millimeter bit in my domino, I've got it set at the tightest setting, and I'm at 15 millimeters depth, and I've also got this here to help me make sure that I plunge it in at 90 degrees to the piece. I've taken the right angle attachment off the domino. The only change I've made to its settings is I've changed it to a 28 millimeter depth so I can plunge into the horizontal pieces. Now for the next operation I need to take this drilling jig and I've got the piece flipped upside down. This is the reference face, this is the non-reference face, so this is the inside of the piece. So I'm going to take this and there's a piece right here and that goes right into the domino hole. I'm going to push it in all the way, put that down and then clamp that pad in place. Then I'm going to take a clamp and clamp this whole assembly in place. Now this is the drill bit that comes with the kit. Uh, it's got a depth stop collar on it and this is meant to drill a hole that's 15 millimeters deep. So I just need to chuck this up into my drill. Now I am going to hook up dust extraction to the drilling jig and then I just need to drill a hole this side and this side. Now on this, which is the side of the piece, I need to add these anchors first and these go in the domino slots I made before and again they require just a little persuasion. I want to make sure they're below the surface and then one of these pins gets screwed in here. Now after those two are in place I just need to take one of the 8 by 36 dominoes. I'm going to install this side of the connector and the first piece is this little guy and there's a hole here and a hole this way. I want to make sure that that hole is up and that one is facing out. I'm just going to drop it into these holes. Then we take these plastic retaining clips, put them in there, and they just need a little bit of persuasion. Not much. I just want to make sure that they're flush with this on the front. Now with those in place, I can take these little locking screws. I'm just going to put it on the end of my hex wrench there. I'm just going to start these. I really don't want to tighten them down quite yet. Now with everything in place, I can just slide these two pieces together. And when I tighten down these set screws, it'll really tighten the piece up quite a bit. An alternate way of doing this, other than drilling domino holes in the sides here for the anchors, is to use the LR32 system along with these special posts. 
that have a coarse thread on them, you drill a five millimeter hole here, and then these just screw in. A big advantage to this is let's say you have a cabinet side and you're going to do the bottom and the top, but you're also going to put a couple shelves in the middle of it. You can take the LR32, put it on there, decide where you're going to make those holes, and batch out stuff. Now I've got the guides here set to 37 millimeters, which is a setback from the front, and I've got my LR32 here, so I'm just going to get this all set up, clamp it down, and then we'll drill these holes. I'll have it all set up and clamped down. I'm using the five millimeter bit that comes with the router. I've got it set to a plunge depth of about 15 millimeters. And the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go one, two, three, which is the blue, the blue, and the blue. Unclamp it, flip this piece around, and then do the red, the red, and the red. And that'll give me the bottom piece and the shelf piece in the middle. With the five millimeter holes drilled, I can take the special posts with the coarse five millimeter thread and screw those down into place. So I have all my pieces here. This is the side that uses the domino with the post. I've got the top, shelf, and bottom. And then I've got the right side that I use my LR32 with the five millimeter bit to make these holes and put these pins in. Now I just need to put it all together. Well, here's my test piece that came together in about, I don't know, three or four minutes. It's real nice and solid, it's perfectly square, and uh, I'm pretty impressed with the fasteners. Now I'm going to make this style of joint. We've got a vertical piece in this case and two horizontal pieces coming in from both sides. Now on the vertical piece, I need to drill a hole all the way through. So I've added a backer board here. I've got the piece in the vertical position clamped to my bench. And I've got my domino set to 28 millimeters because I'm going to go all the way through this and end up in the backer board. So I just need to drill a hole here, here, and here with the domino. Now, with these three holes drilled all the way through, I can work on the horizontal pieces that attach here. And just like before on the horizontal piece, I need to drill a hole here, in the middle, and here at 28 millimeters depth. Now, on this vertical piece with the through holes, I've got these two special pieces which connect like this. So I'm just going to put one in this side, and then one in this side, and start screwing them together. Now with these two installed, I can put the whole piece together. But I do want to mention one thing. Here and here, these are standing just a little bit proud of the surface, even though they're tightened down completely. So I need to take these right here, and I'm going to take one of the 8x36 dominoes, I'm just going to take this and give a little tap and push these retainer clips in just 
enough so the sides will sit flat with it. With all the pieces ready to be joined together, I can just slide them together and start installing the lock nuts. Well, both sides came together really nice, and it's nice and flush in front. Let's take a look at how we do this with the LR32 system. I have the LR32 system set up here, and it's just like it was on the other one. The only exception is I'm going to be drilling all the way through the piece. Now these are the two pieces that you use on the LR32 system. There's a male and female side. I'm just going to slip this in here like that. And then this screws in here like this. So after I've got these hand tightened, I'm just going to tighten them down with the wrench and make sure that they're both pointing the correct way for the other side. And just like before, I just need to slide those pieces in and then tighten down the nuts. So as you can see, this Domino DF500 connectors are very easy to install and make a very strong joint. I'm really looking forward to designing some furniture that can be flat packed and shipped across country. But also, if you're a builder or installer and you're creating some casework and things like that, you need to build in your shop first and then take to the job site. This is nice because you can create it, knock it down, take it to the job site and assemble it there. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.